Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Member Velvet and this video is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. So on February 17th of 2023, I signed up for OnlyFans and submitted all of the stuff to get verified. And the next day I was. So February 18th, I began this long journey of becoming an OnlyFans creator. February 17th, I set up most of my social media accounts, um, pretty much everywhere you can find me at Ember Velvet, um, which is awesome. I strongly recommend that you do that if you have not already um, and are considering doing OnlyFans. I would strongly recommend that you get the same username on all platforms if you possibly can. It can be challenging. It's been well worth it for me. It saves me a lot of time and effort as far as editing and watermarking my images goes, which is really important in this industry. Um, so do with that what you will. I wanted to come on here and talk about what my experience has been like, um, how much money I've made since February 17th. Um, you know, today is April 28th. Um, so it's been a little bit over two months. And, you know, have I made as much as I wanted to? No. Um, do I think that I'm making more than a lot of people on the platform do? Yes. So I will start by saying that as of right now, I am top 33%. Yay, go me. Um, I have had astronomical growth since April 10th. And I will talk about exactly what happened and what I changed in order to make that happen. So let's go into the page. How did I do this? Who am I? What am I putting out there? What am I doing? So I'm going to start by saying I could always do more. I think that that's something that everyone in this industry kind of sits with and it feels at different points. I could always do more and I definitely could have done more in the beginning. Um, but I was coming into this with no backlog of content. Um, I had not taken nude pictures um, since October of 2020. Um, I was morbidly obese. Um, I still am overweight, but I had a lot of insecurities about my body and I just chose not to photograph myself in that way and I didn't feel sexy and so I didn't take pictures of myself like that. And of course now I look back at me and I'm like, I wish you wouldn't have done that, friend. In fact, I wish I would have been well on the body love train and posted myself on the internet then, but what can I do about it? Nothing. Here I am now. So I, you know, in November of 2022, I did a boudoir photography shoot um, with a professional photographer um, and it was awesome and it made me see myself a little bit differently. Um, it was crazy to just kind of see my body in a different way and at that point I had lost about 50 pounds um, so it was pretty celebratory for me. I was really happy with myself and when I got those pictures back and I was looking at them I started thinking you know maybe I want to do boudoir photography. I went to school for digital and social media um, and I've always loved photography but <sighs> and women and the body. And uh, I, I thought, you know, maybe that's something I'd be interested in. And I definitely still am interested in that. And my sister and I started kind of investigating that world. And as we got into that, we started thinking more along the lines of, you know, we need to build up our portfolio of photography, right? And so she and I were talking about going into this together. So we started photographing each other and getting all of these things. And as we were doing this, it transformed into how could we profit off this now? How could we actually profit off our stuff? Because we're around all the time. We're taking this content. It looks really good. Um, let's just start posting it, right? So that's kind of how OnlyFans fell into our laps. And in February, I decided to take the plunge. So I, uh, I didn't have a lot of content and I definitely haven't posted anything that I took from that November shoot. I, I don't actually look a whole lot like that anymore. Um, I lost another 30 pounds from there. My body definitely changed. Um, and I tried to be as accurate to what my body actually looks like as I can. Um, I do have, you know, two kids and I breastfed and I had that weight loss. Um, and so I have a pretty substantial stomach flap and I have pretty saggy breasts. Um, and that is what it is. Those are just features of my body. I put that stuff out there. I put it on the internet for free, um, which can be a little bit daunting to do, to put myself out there like that. But I do um, because I want people when they come to my page to know what they're getting. And if they see full moods of me and my stomach is hanging out and doing its thing, I need them to be okay with that. I don't want any hate. Um, you can hate on me publicly. I don't care. I'll block you. I'll report you. I'll do what I need to do. And move along with my life and get my bag right that's the goal so 
yeah, I didn't have a backlog of content. So when I started, I thought, you know, I'm going to price my page pretty low. And I started at $6 a month. And even from there, I thought, you know, I really don't have anything on here. I just want people on my page. I just want people to like my posts. I just want people to engage with my stuff. So let's do some free trials and um, we'll get people in the door. And we'll sell them once we're in. Um, they'll love it, right? And so I did, I think, 35 free trial links. And one of those converted to one sale um, a couple weeks following his uh, free week ending. But other than that, none of those other spots actually converted to any money for me. It just felt like people coming in, seeing all of my stuff, not actually buying or engaging with me, or worse, it was like promotional groups that were just junk and scammy, um, which I immediately blocked those people. If you ever want to work with me and you're a creator, reach out to me directly. Don't take up promo spots that I put out for people that I want to be my fans. So that's kind of my perspective on it. Anyway, I didn't make any money from those free trial links. But what did happen is that by the time that I posted one of those um, promotional offers, I had kind of built up enough of a following on Reddit, which is where I spent most of my time marketing initially. Um, I built it up enough that people actually engaged with it, got excited. People on Twitter got excited about it. And all of my free promo spots were bought up within like 20 minutes of me posting this last free trial that I did. I had one person that clicked on my link to try and get one of the free trials that actually wound up subscribing for my $6 and I got my four, first $4.80 sale. Um, and that happened on March 5th. So March 5th, I had my first sale. Um, like I said, my page was $6. He paid the full $6 price. I got $4.80 in my account. Um, and $4.80 in your account on OnlyFans, for the record, puts you in the top 93% of creators. At least that was the case in March. It does change month to month based on what people are making. Um, but I did make more than 7% of creators that month when I had made $4.80. So that was something that shocked me. And I kind of would have wanted to know before I put in all this time and effort um, onto my page. That's why I'm putting it out here for you to know. So after that sale, I had um, a while of no other sales. And what I wound up doing after that sale is I thought, you know, this actually feels good. Like this $4.80 in my account feels so good. It feels so worthwhile for my time and energy. Um, I'm not going to do free trials anymore. So I just decided to nix that. It wasn't paying off for me. It wasn't converting. It wasn't doing anything for me. I just really didn't like it um, and I felt used and gross and that it wasn't how I wanted to feel. So what I decided to do was I put my page, um, I kept it at $6. I put a 50% off promotional offer going on there. So it was $3 to actually subscribe for your first month um, and I would get $2.40 per person from that. And I kept that for a while. Um, you know, I wrote down different metrics uh, as far as my earnings. And so I do want to talk about it, you know, my first month on OnlyFans. Um, my first 30 days, I made $21.60. And that put me at the top 75% of creators. Um, so I made more than 25% of creators on the platform, apparently, at $21.60. Um, my first dollar, like I said, I didn't actually get paid until March 5th. Um, and from there, 30 days out from when I stopped giving away free trials and really charged for everyone to join, 30 days after that, I had made $37.12. So that was exciting for me. Um, and $37.12 put me at top 56% on OnlyFans. So just for reference, that was what I was looking at. And during this time, I was also actively marketing myself on different platforms. And I had signed up. I have... <laughs> I have OnlyFans, but I also have Fansly. I have Frisk. I signed up for Slushy. I'm waiting to be verified on there now. Um, I'm verified on Red Gifts. I'm on um, just Cash App. I'm also on Friendly. I can't remember if I said Friendly already, but Friendly is like an online dating platform where they have to pay per message. It's 35 cents per message. Um, you can do calls and you can ask them for gifts and different monetary things on there. So I was participating in that too. Um, and so... In that same period of time that I had made $37.12 from OnlyFans, I had made $93 um, from Friendly, and I also made $125 from Cash App. So OnlyFans was my lowest income source. But what I will say is that the work that was required for Cash App and Friendly sales was a lot more substantial. There was a lot more scammy people, whereas OnlyFans, um, at least once the people were paying, they were all legitimate and they were not so much time wasters. I've been very fortunate that people 
either come in and want to pay or come in and don't bother me and don't pay. Um, you know, so that is what it is. So on April 5th, which is the first time I really calculated all of the amounts of money I made from all of my different sources, I had made $244.12. Um, which I was pretty proud of. And so, you know, now we're sitting here, it's April 28th. I have not gone on Friendly since. I really was feeling like I was spending a lot of time on there and not getting a ton of payback for it. Um, Cash App, I really just haven't been doing those direct sales. I Again, it takes a lot of work to respond to all those DMs and actually make those sales for me. Um, and what I decided to do was I decided I was really going to focus on OnlyFans because it does seem a little bit more passive once the people are in there. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I did. So that was April 5th. A couple days later, um, another YouTuber on Natural Mama had posted a video um, where she was talking about doing online coaching. Um, she posted a little picture thing on her page too. And I had thought, you know, this is a steal. Um, the coaching sessions were so affordable. Um, she is very successful on the platform. I trust her a lot. I really respect her. I think that we have a lot of things in common. And so I thought, wow, there's a lot that I could really learn from her. And so I decided, you know, I was going to pay for one of these coaching sessions. And on April 10th, I had my coaching session with her. And so we had talked a little bit about my marketing strategy and how I needed to be promoting myself. And so I changed my strategy up and I started promoting myself a hell of a lot more. Um, and what I'm learning is more is the key to all of this. The more you can do, the more money you make, the more you send, the more you can do. And that's why you feel like you're never doing enough when you're in this industry. It never ends. There's always more you could be doing because you could be making more because you could be using your time better. It's a little difficult to sit with that and to think, you know, I'm going to need to just take a break for me right now. Um, but you do. So at this point, um, you know, I, I had this coaching call. It was amazing. She went through my Reddit profile. She went through my OnlyFans um, profile bio and had kind of looked everything over, given me a couple things to correct and update. And then we went over my marketing strategy and basically the goal that I had set for myself because I was only promoting on Reddit at the time was to post between 20 and 40 times per day um, in different subreddits. And it could be all the same picture, but personally for me, I don't love to do that. Um, so I tend to rotate between like two, three different pictures, videos, whatever, per day in those 40 different places. Um, I shoot for 40. I don't always hit it. Um, but at a minimum, I get 20. And weekdays especially is important. The sales are just better on weekdays. They just are. So where am I at now? So now I am top 33%. By the way, I was uh, top 56% when I had made $37.12. Now I am top 33%. Um, I'm curious to see if it updates tomorrow. And if so, I will update the description and let you know what it actually updates to because I did have uh, four new fans today. Um, five, actually, I just had another one. So what am I at now? I am at a total of $238.40 that I've made, which equates to $190.72 that actually gets paid out to me after OnlyFans takes their cut. Um, so $190.72, top 33%. Um, I'll be honest and say that almost, you know, like I said, all of that money pretty much came from <laughs> after that call that I had. Uh, basically 200 of those dollars came from it and that call took place 18 days ago. Um, I had spent, you know, from February 17th through April 10th marketing myself, um, posting a couple times a day. I tried to be consistent at least posting once a day. There were a couple days I missed um, through no fault of my own. I really tried. Um, but yeah, it, it didn't work. You have to post more. You just have to, and especially on Reddit. If you're, if you're primarily going through Reddit, you have to post more and you'll get the eyes on your posts that you want. Um, you know, I have a post on my profile, my personal profile pinned to the top of my page. I posted it nine days ago and it has over 12,000 views. So people are on Reddit. People are viewing your stuff. They're looking at your things. And that particularly is a post, um, of me and my sister and it has her links on it as well. So I think that that's really cool. We do that for each other. So when she posts, I get attention. When I post, she gets attention and that works out really well for us. We've built up our following on Reddit a lot faster, I think, because of that. Um, I'm at just over 1800 followers on there now. Um, and I have 
6,200-ish karma now, um, which I am super proud of. And again, almost all of that was since April 10th. Um, I was at just shy of 2,500 um, and just shy of 500 followers. Yeah, so over a thousand, I mean 1,300, over 1,300 since my call on April 10th. And that was 18 days ago, less than three weeks. Um, so you can grow astronomically quick with these platforms. Has it converted all to money? Not necessarily. I had a 40% promo going on on my page and I did raise my page price up to $9. Um, so that 40% off, basically people were paying $5.40 to get in. I was making about $4.32 per person once they got in after. Um, I decided to nix that and now I have a 25% off promotion. So that actually is like $6.75 when they subscribe and then I get paid the $5.40. I feel a lot better about that. It adds up in my account what feels like a lot faster. I have 30 fans. I am finally getting custom requests, which I love doing custom requests. That's how I made my money on Cash App. Um, and it's just fun. I love it. I, I have a lot of fun doing those things. So um, yeah, I'm finally getting customs. I'm finally having people in my group that tip. Um, you know, it, it's very, very helpful and motivating to like finally have people that are interacting. Um, and I love it. So, you know, if there's anything that I take away from this, it's that you have to value yourself first. I wish that I would have started charging from the beginning. I wish I would have posted more from the beginning. I wish I would have, um, you know, really just put myself out there. I needed to go harder and I didn't. Um, but, you know, you live, you learn. And now here I am and I'm doing great. I am on TikTok now, which I have had an interesting experience with. Um, I'm on Instagram. I don't love Instagram, but I'm getting the impression I need to get to know Instagram and love it a little bit more. So I will be. Um, and yeah, yeah. Now I'm starting up my YouTube channel. I've been really wanting to come on here and talk about my experience with this for a long time. I think that I just have a lot to share, um, as someone that is plus size and has features on her body. You know, I've been walking around for the past year saying that I feel like I've been deformed um, because of how some of the features on my body look. And I have all of these people now that are, you know, messaging me, telling me they love these features about me and that they're so into them. And I'm, I'm making money off of them, which is crazy. You know, this body that like I had been hating and hating so much, I wouldn't even photograph it, honestly, um, is now something that people are actually paying me to see and I am having so much fun with it you know it really is just a whole different kind of world and thing to like play around with um I've been with my husband for nine years and so getting to do all of this and getting to know new people and uh get myself out there and explore new things has actually been really fun I think that we've always been very open as a couple as far as exploring different things and I've never felt unsatisfied in our relationship um but it is fun to kind of see what other people are into and even like things that we are not into, right? Like foot fetish stuff. We've tried some very specific positioning so that we could do some things that showed toes. And, you know, I just think that that is fun. Like it might not have been the sexiest thing for us. It's not something that we would have ever tried had I not been, you know, reading and inspired by somebody else. Um, but it was so fun for us to actually do that. And so I I just really enjoy experimenting and playing with all of these different things that I've gotten to as a result of doing this work. Um, and I think that I'm only gonna become more successful. So if I could recommend anything to anybody, I would absolutely recommend that you look at other creators, see what they're doing, mimic what they're doing. You can do a lot of things on your own if you follow them closely enough. And if you think you're posting enough, you probably aren't. Um, you really do need to be on your game and you got to be on your game every single day. The algorithms reward it. It is what it is. Um, have fun with it. Be yourself. Post the content that you're into. You know, I started my own subreddit on Reddit um, because there wasn't one that kind of fit this niche that I'm very interested in, which involves glitter and shimmery, shiny things. Um, so, you know, while it's still a very small subreddit, I'm hoping that people become interested in it and get to know it. And I'm hoping that like, as a result of all of this, people get to know me a little bit better. It's been really fun to think about the identifying traits of me and what makes me me and how hot those traits are. I'm marketing myself on TikTok, for example, as Ember the Big Sis. 
And it's one of those parts of my personality that's always been something that's really dear to me. Um, I'm very, very protective of my family. I love them dearly. My sister's a huge part of my life. She's like my best friend. Um, and, you know, I am getting so much more traction talking about my family roles and what my life has been like um, and posting to sounds that I love. Like I did some videos to Hamilton um, songs that I'm super into <laughs> and it got so much more traction than any of the videos I have on my other account where I was just trying to do transitions and look hot. Um, so it's been really validating to just have people applaud me for being myself. I didn't think that people would do that so much, but they truthfully do. They love who you are. They love the person that you are. Um, you know, I get to be silly. I have references to the movie Sausage Party on my Reddit profile that are pinned. Um, I think it's hilarious. It's got like a hundred upvotes or more on it now. Um, it's just cool to get to be yourself and to get to do things that you want to do and like have people be like, you are so funny and hot. That's all I've ever wanted to be. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is so re rewarding and fulfilling for me beyond just being handed money. It's so great for people to be like, you are the best. You are so hot. Yes. Thank you. That's what I've been saying for my whole life. I appreciate that you guys have finally noticed and that you're willing to give me the money that I deserve for it. I love being cool and hot and popular. I love people telling me about it. Does that make me a bad person that I love the attention? No, absolutely not. It's a great thing. I love this. I'm loving that I get to be myself and do all these things that I want to do. And I love that people love me for it. <laughs> like, that's the best part of this is that I can just totally 100% be myself. And people are like, yes, please. Okay. Like, if I want to go take off my clothes in the woods, they're like, yes, please. I'm like, okay. I love it. It's super fun. Anyway, um, if you haven't joined OnlyFans yet, I'll put a referral link down below for you to join. I do have a Fansly referral link too. Um, and Frisk, I wish I had my slushy. I don't yet. We'll have another video on slushy when I get verified, I guess. Um, but until my next update, uh, which hopefully, you know, maybe I'll do an update on the 30 days after my call. So maybe May 10th I'll update um, with what I'm at. I did update my bio again last night and I got four new fans immediately following it. So I do think that there were some things in my bio that were maybe turning people off to me. Um, and now I'm hoping that those are resolved and people are just going to start flocking to me, you know? So we'll see. Anyway, I appreciate you being here. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, if you use my referral links, I will happily send you a giant spreadsheet that I made of all the subreddits that I post in. Um, my sister also contributes to it. So you have two different people with very different niches that we um, target. So there's a lot that you can get from that. Um, and yeah, I hope that you have a lot of luck in your journey and I hope that this helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.